Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So in today's video we're working with the Thunderpole TX handheld. This is a new radio out by Thunderpole, this is a CB radio and I'm basically going to show you today how you'd be able to go into the radio and program it so you can change some of the settings. Now you cannot change the channel settings and what they are coded to but as you'll see there is other parameters that we're able to change. Now a quick disclaimer before we properly get into this video, I'm not responsible for you programming your radio or whether you cause any damage to your radio from programming in it. I'm basically just going to show you how you'd be able to do so. So as you can see in front of me, I've got the radio, I've got a Windows computer and I've got a Baofang radio programming cable. So these are the three things we're going to use. I'm going to show you the software. Now the software is by P&I. So we're going to move over to the computer and we're going to get started with that software. I'm going to show you where to get it from and then how you can basically read your radio, change the settings and then write back onto your radio. Again, this is just a disclaimer. I'm not responsible for any damage caused by the radio. And if you do actually read the Thunderpole TX, use a man. Hello, so we've now moved over to the computer. This is the software that we're after. It's by PNI, as you can see on the icon, and it is called CBD Bug. So to get this, all we're going to do is we're going to go over. We're going to go onto YouTube, and you just type in Adjust Modulation AMFM for the PNI Escort HP82. Now this is not Thunderpole, as you can see. It says the PNI HP82, but these radios are identical. If you have a look online, uh, the only difference is is the Thunderpole logo. And the button layout is slightly different, but what you'll find is we will not be changing channel settings. We're not going to, there's not a lot of options we can change, but there is still some programmable options that will not make a difference on the actual software itself. And as you will find, these radios are absolutely identical, hence why we're able to do so. So I'm going to leave the link in the description where it says download soft from here. And um, you can see there's some extra links in case the main link isn't working. Once you've downloaded this software, which I already have, we're going to open CB Debug. As you can see, this is currently blank. So as you can see, these are the settings you can change. So you got the frequency deviation, high power, low power outputs, AM high modulation. So you can change the modulations, um, Vox sound, ASQ sound. Um, you can just see there's a few things. Now, I'm not a professional. I personally will not start messing with these. I'm going to change it legitly, keep everything uh, legitly the same as it is. Um, I freely use the word legitly, so ignore that. But you kind of get the idea. So I personally will not be changing any of these settings, but this is going to show you how to be able to if you're all a bit more like of a professional in the CB radio world. I, am, I personally am very new. I'm simply just going to show you how to do this. So all I'm going to do now is plug in using my Baofang uh, programming cable onto the radio. So all I'm doing is I'm just going to plug it in. Um, uh, and then I'm going to power it on and then plug into the computer. So I'm just going to do this now. So you just heard that is the noise to say it is now plugged in. And all I'm simply going to do is go on model, click HP82. And then I'm going to hit read, which is R. So as you can see, the radio will restart and it will read uh, basically the radio. Or you can just click read from radio here. So once you're done, obviously, all you're going to do is going to hit write to radio. And it's going to take all those inputs and write it straight to the radio. So as you can see, here are the settings. You can see high power 153, low power 95. So you can change some of the settings, some of the outputs. Again, disclaimer, I'm not telling you to do so. I'm not responsible if you brick your radio or cause any damage or do anything you shouldn't be doing with this radio. I'm just showing you how to do it. I, I say this a lot, but I just this is solely for educational purposes only. So that, that is as simple as that. So as you can see, we've got all these settings you can now change. Um, once you're done, either press the W for write or just hit program and write to radio. Uh, that is it. 
thank you for watching. If you do decide to change some settings, the first thing I would recommend is hitting save and saving the original settings. So if something doesn't work, you can reload onto the radio and um, reload the old settings to it so you haven't you know, lost everything. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.